Hi everyone, it's Carrie, aka Nerdy Girl Crates. Welcome to my channel and Happy New Year. Today is not only the last Friday of 2021, it is my last review of 2021. It is Indie Friday and we're going to take a look at a book that I have been waiting to come since I first backed it on Indiegogo. And that book happens to be Arc Athenia by Eric Canetti. And let me tell you, I'm really excited about reviewing this book. Now, like I said, I did do the campaign on Indiegogo and um, there were different um, perks that were offered. I personally did the book along with um, the drop sketchbook. The book is written and drawn by Eric Canetti and it is 64 page hardcover published by Iconic Comics, which you know from Common America. And the cover itself is a spot UV cover so it keeps it nice and bright, protects it from the sun, I guess. I couldn't tell you really, but it sounds awesome. Um, they did have different types of um, perks, as I was saying before. Uh, the one I did, graphic novel with the drop sketchbook. There was also one with the graphic novel and the B&W Artist Edition. There's a 4x6 sketch, a 9x12 B&W bust image. 11 and 17 commission, 11 and 17 cover art. By the way, B and W is black and white. If you don't know for some reason, I know it's late and it's New Year's Eve, but I understand. Um, there was also a bundle with the novel drop and the black and white artist edition. There was a standard cover, which I got, and also a limited edition cover. Now this is the first out of six issues and Eric's already announced that five of the six issues are completed so those should be going up soon um, on Indiegogo unfortunately this one is already closed but you might find the book on Iconic Comics or you might be able to bundle it in with the next campaign uh, they promise no in demand and they promise delivery in four months and Iconic Comics always does so now let's get into the story itself and the story um, focuses on a organization or corporation I should call Arc. They're an entertainment and power giant and they have put together this uh, superhero team called Arc Athenia who is like their social media buzz hero group. You have a bunch of social influencers that are in the group. You even have some uh, pop stars, even some lifestyle gurus and I'm not kidding when I say that. It's an interesting mix of characters and some of them just sound like they were purposely picked because of their celebrity status. Uh, but then you also have some that are kind of uh, don't seem like they fit in but maybe they're there to balance out the team such as uh, Devana who is like the leader and a former military but uh, she's also online and has 600 million followers. It kind of like makes fun of what we're living right now in society with social media and everything in that way, in my opinion at least. But there's a dark truth here. There's like a secret arc is keeping and that is that they have another team of superheroes who actually do all the dirty work. And this group of superheroes, they're out of the spotlight. They are the ones doing everything while the other ones are getting all the media attention. And you can tell off the bat that conflict is going to happen between these two groups because the social media darlings like more about the popularity. Their leader, however, is frustrated and she acts out a lot and you could tell that she wants to do more when it comes to hero work. And sometimes she goes a little too far and disobeys orders that are given to her from Ark and that causes problems, which you see in the book. And that brings her into conflict with the other team nobody's supposed to know about. <laughs> the other team also gets frustrated because they're doing all this work and they have to look at this other group who's taking pretty much all of the accolades for it and they don't take them seriously because most of them, like I said, were selected for their celebrity status. I mean, you have a pop star in there. You have a kid who spends most of his time typing on his cell phone while things are going down. It's it's obvious that they're going to come into battle at some point or something's going to happen that is going to reveal the secret team and expose what's really going on with this team everybody in the world has become familiar with. It's interesting and you want to know why. 
why did Ark decide to do this? Why did Ark put together this like, oh, pretty, perfect looking, very appealing superhero team only for the sake of a decoy for the actual team that's doing all the work? And the story itself is very fast paced. I mean, you pretty much, it opens with Ark introducing Ark Athenia. And it goes right into their first mission being broadcast live all over the world on television. Everybody's watching, everybody's tweeting, everybody's posting it to their social media, you know. The they're interviewing the heroes. <laughs> it's it's a little bizarre. But meanwhile, down below you have the other ones going after the actual target and it's action packed while also tr- doing this narrative showing you this like how can I say this this corporate plot to capitalize on superheroes without actually damaging their superhero product if you know what I mean and of course the me the the first um mission doesn't go exactly as planned and something happens in the end and they're all all these superstar superheroes are given their scripts um including the leader Meanwhile, the other team is in the shadows watching everything go down. It's a it's a really good fast-paced story. It keeps you involved. It also starts giving out some information without giving away too much and keeping you intrigued to see what's going to happen in the next volume. Like I said, you know there's going to be some huge conflict coming. Something is going to like break. I mean, there is no way that this corporation can pull off this stunt without sooner or later the true heroes being revealed. It's really good, and I am looking forward to the next volume. I will be backing that. Also, the art. Eric Knetti's art is just beautiful. I love the colors. I always go on about colors in my videos, but the colors in this are really vibrant and beautiful to represent the um, social media superheroes, (laughs) you know, because they're a brand. So they have to look very colorful. They have to look very appealing. They have to catch the attention of everybody watching on TV or on the internet. Um, Everybody following them on whatever platform they might be on. Meanwhile, the other group who's in the dark and secret is much more muted in color. You know, to emphasize that they're in the shadows. They're the ones who are not in the spotlight. They're the ones nobody's supposed to know about. So there they are like more muted colors, um, more grainier details to them, I would say, you know, a lot more rough around the edges to emphasize that this is what real superheroes would be like in a setting like this. They're not pretty, they're not appealing to a product line. And it's like the use of the colors, the art style is Eric Kennedy's own art style. It's, it's, doesn't kind of mimic anybody else's style in the comic industry and I like that because I I think sometimes especially in mainstream you see a lot of artists trying to be like another artist and at times there's nothing wrong with that but I wish people would try their best to differentiate themselves from others like I can look at a panel for George Perez and know that's George Perez's art I can look at a Jim Lee back in the 90s X-Men and know that's Jim Lee that's what I like. I mean, I I, I kind of like when people stand out. And Eric does that with his art. And like I said, he uses um, the right kind of style and design to emphasize the difference between the two superhero groups. The story is fast-paced, but also gives you enough information to keep you intrigued. So I do highly recommend this. I will put a link down below for the Iconic Comics um, website. Um, I'm not sure if it's up on there yet, probably not, but keep an eye out on Indiegogo for the next campaign to launch, because I'm sure they'll throw in Volume 1 with it, or you can at least add on Volume 1 with it. I'm not sure if it's going to be on Kickstarter, I don't have that answer, but I do highly recommend this. Um, Check it out, it's a different approach with superheroes, and it's a lot of fun. Tell me, have you backed Ark Athenia? Are you a big fan of any of Eric Kennedy's work? Are you um, a big fan of Iconic Comics? Go ahead, comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a happy new year, and I will see you in 2022 with some big changes coming. Bye.